Okay team, the drop kick. Okay, obviously restarts in the 15s game are all about the drop kick. Sevens, again, very important, the, the restarts, as when you score you restart the ball and you want to get the possession back. Uh, also if you're goal kicking in sevens, it's a drop kick. But I'm going to talk about a drop kick as a kick off and as an attacking weapon. So, a couple of key things with the drop kick for me. When I'm about to do a drop kick, I usually go to the point where I want to kick the ball, bounce the ball a couple of times, just seeing how firm the ground is. That's because with a drop kick, if we want to get height, we want to let the ball bounce up and get under the ball. Just like with a normal punt kick, we're still looking to kick it around that bottom third of the ball so nothing changes. Same with our kick action, we're still getting our arm up, our leg back, and coming through the ball with a nice strong leg, strong foot. Okay, so one thing with the drop kick um, is just your hand positioning. So you want the ball to hit the ground and bounce up and, either, and bounce straight up. So I still like to hold it like I'm punt kicking. Hand either side, my fingers are spread. spread. So they're spread across the ball. Thumbs at the top with my little fingers down the bottom. Alright. And again, it's a drop, it's not it's not a lift up and drop, it's just a drop from there. So I'm dropping the ball, if I'm dropping the ball, I'm dropping it from around my, sort of below my hips, is where I am, my upper thigh. Okay, and again, we want to drop it in front of us. So that we can allow our leg to come through the ball. Okay, if we drop it too close here, it's really hard for us to allow that ball to bounce and gives us time to get under it. So we want to drop it so... If you're looking at the side angle there, if I'm dropping that ball, I'm looking at dropping it out in front of me so I can come through. So let's just go through and see how that looks. So, if I'm looking to kick out to my right, so this is our halfway line, I'm looking to kick short to my right. Okay, I would probably go back to a nice comfortable position here because I'm wanting to come through the ball and get it 10 metres, 10 metre line. Let's see how we go. Okay, if I'm kicking to the left, so again, I've got my line here, kicking to the left of the field, to my left. Okay, I'm probably going to go from here, I'm probably going to go back a couple of steps behind the line, behind that mark, look at where my target is, and then everything again is the same. What you should notice is my head's nice and down and I stay in the kick. So now what I'm going to do, I've put out a white cone, it's 10 metres from the halfway line. Obviously our drop kicks have to go 10 metres in rugby. Alright, so what I do, put out a cone, probably around the 10 metre line where the 15 metre intersection is. And we're looking to try and get the ball just in behind that cone, so maybe 10, 11 metres, so that we've got a contestable kick. Again, I'm bouncing the ball, taking my step back. Looking at where I want to kick it to, I also visualise a spot in the air where I want the ball to reach. So where I want it to hit its peak and then drop. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, now I'm kicking to my left. There's another white cone out there. It's 10 metres from the halfway line and a about on the 15 meter intersection. All right, same thing applies again. I'll check the ball here for the, for the, the, the ground. Right. Take a couple of steps back, looking at my target where I want to kick it, getting a point in the sky as to where I want the peak to be and visualizing where it's going to go.